Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate Wii. No, it won't be a gold Wii, but I'll show you how to turn your basic Wii into a fully pimped out Wii system. I'll show you how to homebrew your Wii and how to get the cover moves for your Wii emulators. First, let's look at the end result. Okay, I'm recording this with my uh, camcorder, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to see everything will be clear. I just wanted to show you quickly uh, how my Wii look. Okay, as you can see here, I have all the channels, all the new channels installed. I have a USB Loader GX, I have Wii Flow, and uh, the emulators. Also, I have uh, PlayStation, and I have the N64. So I'm just going to go through here and show you all these right here. Also, I have the GameCube over here. I'm going to show you this right here. So you can play your GameCube games in here. But what I want to show you next, I'm going to show you the, uh, the meat of the system. I'm going to show you what's inside the USB loader. I'm going to show you how many games I have and I'm going to show you how to get this installed. So take a minute to load. I'm going to also show you what you need to, to get this up and running. So you can see right here, here are all my games are right here. I have 194 games for the Wii, all the latest ones, and they all work no problem. Also, you want to make sure you have a very good hard drive. I'm going to show you which one that I have, so you know you have no problems, no skippings, because some of them, you know, it, you know, don't get a cheap hard drive. You make sure you get at least 500 gigabytes. But I'm going to explain all that later. But as you can see here, I have a bunch of games. Half of the games I don't even play. <laughs> it's just I wanted them because, you know, it felt my hard drive. And for that, I'm going to show you. Okay, here now I want to show you my Super Nintendo emulator games. And show you all the Wii covers that I have. Okay, it's taking a minute to load up. And here it is. As you can see, there's my Zelda, Super Metroid, Super Castlevania. I'll upload that later. And here are all my cover art. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put all this in the description and how do you can actually get this. And I'll walk you through everything. Just wanted to show you this really quickly. And next, I want to show you the NES. And here's the NES right here. I love these old games. It's good, of course, you can always download and play these on your computer, but, you know, if you ha can have them all in one spot, well, why not, you, you know, all in one system. That's why I call it the ultimate system, because you have everything here. Super Nintendo, um, PlayStation, Sega, all right here. And this is my collection of NES games. So here, I think what I want to show you next is my Game Boy Advance. I love the Game Boy Advance. So they're actually pretty cool and they played really good on Nintendo Wii. Uh, you can play all the Zelda games here. You can also play uh, Game Boy Color, which I'll show you. Here's the cover art. And I'll show you how to install the cover arts too. Make sure I put all these in the description. Right here. I don't play a lot of these games. A lot of these are friends. Or in the case I build someone's Wii for them, make sure I have a nice collection. Super, well, Metroid, not Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, Sonics, Zelda, and Game Boy Color. You can also play Game Boy Color here and you can load the cover art for them too. Zelda, right here. I love Zelda. I, pretty, probably have, I probably have almost all the Zelda games. And from here, let this load up one more time. I'm going to show you see here this is the Sega use PlayStation right here you can actually play it yes the, the PlayStation 1 on your uh, Wii but what I think I want to show you here Nintendo 64 let me think uh, yeah let me show you uh, let me see here this is Sonic and Sega you can play the Sega Genesis games here here PlayStation 1. Okay. I'm just debating which should I show you. Okay. I go with the Nintendo 64. And it's the same way. You don't have any cover art on here, but it loads 
no problem. What you want to do, you want to find a ROM, load the ROM from your SD card. Um, you can pick a game. I think I'll pick, um, I'll just say uh, Mario Kart 64. Some of the games play really, really good, but some games don't play. But um, but you, you have a whole bunch of games that plays really well. And there's the Nintendo 64. No problem at all. So next, what I want to show you. I'll show you the PlayStation 1 games. It looks just like the Nintendo 64 when you load them up. You load I I ISO, you find a game. Let me pick a Parabola Rapper here with that, oh, right here. And hit play game. Also, to play these games, you you're going to need a place the, uh, the Wii Classic controller, and you just just configure all the controllers the way you like them. I have, I don't know how many games I have, I just have so many games. I have 194 Wii games, uh, I have over uh, probably 50 NES games, and I have a bunch of Super Nintendo games. It's, like I said, the ultimate system. Anyway, here's the PlayStation 1 Parappa, the game is loading up here. Some of these games has bugs, but a lot of these games play with no problem. Like this one plays with no problem, it's just like you're playing on PlayStation. Okay, for what I'm going to show you now is actually show you how to get started. Okay, to get started you're going to need two things. The first thing you're going to need is a hard drive. Uh, this is the one I have. It's a Seagate hard drive. Uh, uh, I have about 500 gigabytes on here. And the second thing you're going to need is an SD card. Um, the SD card I have is um, eight. Uh, gigabyte hard drive but you know if you want to get this one here for just two gigabytes this would be good also so these are the only two things you actually might have to go out and buy if you don't already have them already um, um, you probably can find them on the discount at probably Newegg or anywhere else but make sure you definitely get these to um, I recommend the Seagate hard drive because um, it's a really good hard drive but make sure it's not a really cheap one you probably can find one probably like for 50 or 60 dollars and you won't have any problem because I did a few of these for a few people and they end up buying a cheaper hard drive and it's they have problems with the game skipping so I definitely would recommend a really good hard drive okay from here what you want to do you want to go inside your Wii system and write down your Mac address you're gonna need this for the um, for the hack actually how to hack your Wii so when you go into your Wii system, you want to go into settings right here, and it's going to take a minute to load. And then from here, you want to move over here into your internet, console information, and your MAC address. So you make sure you just write down your MAC address for the next part. Right here, let me close all this out here. Okay, next what you want to do, you want to go to this website over here. It's called pleasehackme.com, and what you want to do is the uh, MAC address that you written down. You want to enter it right here. Make sure you enter all the codes right here, and then from here, write then the uh, the code right here. Write this in here, and then cut the red wire. And what this is going to do, this is going to send the hack to your email address to your to your Wii. look at that okay from here once you put the hack inside your SD card you just want to check and make sure it's in there so if you don't see it you probably just want to go back a couple days and there it is so once you see it in here what you want to do is click on it and once you click on it here and then the hack is going to start running so when you see this don't get freaked out this is okay this is expected to happen and there is the hack. What it's doing is working and inside your Wii and making sure that everything is going alright. So from here what you want to do is uh, click uh, the one. I think it's the one here. And um, and then you'll be ready to go. And what this is going to do, this is going to ask do you want to install. It's going to take a minute here. 
here you hit one it's going to ask do you want to start the homebrew channel what you want to do is say yes so install the homebrew channel here it's going to install right there okay after you finish your installation you're going to notice you have a new channel you're going to have the homebrew channel so everything's successful so um once you to this point um the, the hardest part is over so what you have to do from here is install the apps i'm going to show you actually how to install the homebrew browser and to get the emulator channels so i'm going to leave it here and stop the video and i'm going to continue on the next video Thanks for watching again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe.